talk shit. So Valerie, congrats on the performance. What an awesome performance. You seem so happy up there. I mean, we heard you running around yelling. I'm still going to post TikToks. I'm still going to post I'm Instagram. still going to post TikToks. So I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, so that that made it personal, her comment. Of course it made it personal. I just didn't answer her. I didn't lower myself to her. I waited to the chance I got to fight when I was healthy so I could shut her mouth. And so, you know, all week you've had your sister along with you. I mean, yes. how special is it? You know, we heard her in your corner. How special is it to have her along for the ride here? You know what? When I found out I was going to fight in the first Bellato card during quarantine, I couldn't have barely any corners, just two corners. My family always comes with me. And I go, I can't do this without somebody in my family. My sister and I have been training partners since we were three years old under my father. I would coach her in tournaments. She would coach me. My sister knows me better than anyone else. And this fight, we had so much fun. We went shopping. We chilled. We went and we cut weight together at the gym. My sister is in peak shape, too. She's an amazing training partner. And just having my sister with me made this experience what it is. And I'm just so blessed to have her. She's my sister. She's my other manager. Abraham's my manager. She's my land manager. She runs my social media. She's amazing. And so last for me, you know, what would Jorge Masvidal be saying to you right now? I brought the first one home for the Cubans. He told me before I left, I go, I promise him I make you proud. He couldn't do it, but I did it. Thank you to Jesus Gallo, Elite Athlete Performance, George, Charlie, Juanqui, American Top Team, Steve Bruno Mo. That's my team. I moved back to Miami for my team. The clock was winding down there when you dropped her. Uh, was there any hesitation? I know sometimes you, I think in fighters' minds, like, oh, the clock's winding down, but you just went for the kill there. Let me tell you something. This girl, every single day of quarantine, I thought about her face. The moment I get to punch her like that, extremely necessary, like George would tell me. I don't stop for anything. I don't care if it was five seconds left or there was one second left. I hit her 50 million times or so she can't get up. And I noticed you kind of let out a scream towards her at the end there. Uh, but you ultimately did shake hands. Was it kind of tough to, to kind of keep that composure? Let me tell you something. I'm a master in Taekwondo. I've always been professional until this girl. I can't be professional with that girl. When you're telling me I'm being demoralizing to the sport. But you know what? Look at all the girls who look like me, who dance, who want to defend themselves, who are now going to be in MMA because I'm an inspiration to them and they're not scared. That's what I stand for, not what she does. Congratulations on the big win, Valerie. Thank I got to ask, what, it, what do you want next from Bellator in terms of fights? You got anybody in mind or? Whatever Bellator my manager tells me. I'm just so happy. I gotta ask, I mean, just from the way you're reacting, is this so far like the most important win that you've had so far in your pro career? No, Mohegan Sun, I made my debut here and I told everybody this week, I'm gonna repeat history. I feel it, I know I'm gonna knock her out. I was super nervous this morning. I was thinking, Valerie, why do you do this? Why do you get yourself into this? This girl was jacked, huge. I have little arms and a big butt. What are you doing? You can't do this. My sister, my my team told me, Valerie, you do camps with Joanna. You train with most high level and you're competitive with them. Every round with them is toe to toe. You need to trust yourself. And it wasn't that I didn't believe in myself. I didn't trust the proof what I've done pre previously in my Taekwondo career and what I've done now with Bellator. Congratulations on the win. Uh, I think it's safe to say this is the most gratifying win of your career. Uh, how are you going to celebrate tonight? I'm going to drink wine. Right now, I have three bottles of wine waiting for me in the room. I'm going to put on a cute outfit, take pretty pictures, and get drunk with my sister. How active would you like to stay throughout the rest of this year in 2021? Uh, when can your fans, I guess, expect to see you back in the cage? Two, three more fights. I had the opportunity to fight today, and a lot of fighters don't. So I know it's fair to give everybody an opportunity. So whenever Bellator tells me to go, I'm ready. I'm going back to the gym. Tomorrow I get to Miami. At 8 and 11, I'll be at Gallo's in Miami. I love him. He did my conditioning to this fight. I was active the whole round. I had to, had to do 50 million laps around the ring because she was trying to clinch me the whole time. My defense was circle, so she can't take you down. Throw. She clinched me. I got out of it. I have amazing clinch work. No one's seen that until today. I'm extremely powerful in the clinch. I'm glad I showed a little bit. Even though she didn't take me down, I'm happy I showed more diverse in MMA. I, didn't even, I think if I threw three, three kicks, it was a lot. 
We're going to take a couple questions from the internet. We'll start with Mark Piocos. Your line is live. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Um, first of all, um, were you surprised how aggressive uh, she was in that first round? No, I was expecting her to rush in like that, like a dog the whole time. And my our game plan was circle to the right, away from her, her right hands, counter throw fast. I didn't want to kick because she was so close to my distance that I knew if I kicked, she was going to catch my leg and take me down. So I just decided to box and my finger hurts a little bit. <laughs> and, and with that in mind, I mean, were you expecting to kick a lot more during this fight or were you really working on your hands before this fight? I thought that I was going to knock her out with a double kick to the head, a taekwondo thing. But real quick, I realized I couldn't do this in this fight because she was coming forward too much. Taekwondo, I use it. I throw hands first when they're backing up, I kick. But this girl, she was coming forward too much. I'm like, you know what? I have to box. I have to be a dog. I have to stay in the range, which is my favorite thing to do in a fight. Stay like close range and just throw down. Our next question comes from Giancarlo Alino. Hi, Valerie. Congrats on the win. Uh, you mentioned you want a, the training camp you did with her. Was there something you picked up from her and uh, training with her that really helped you in preparation for this fight? Championship mindset. There's not one athlete in the world that I relate to more than Joanna. Her and I train the same way. We could die training, but we know we're simulating what we're doing in a fight and we don't back down. Joanna told me, you're going to be champ, Valerie. Learn from me. You're next. I'm done soon. You're going to be next. I feel it. You're going to be champ. Just stay focused and don't listen to what anybody says about you. And that's what I did today. And I'm 3-0 and right now for Bellator. And a uh, final question for me, Valerie. Uh, you know, there was no fans in attendance. So did that uh, have any effect on you and your performance or like just thinking about the fight tonight, walking in and seeing that it was just, uh, you're going to hear everything in the... In Taekwondo. I have fought my whole life at U.S. Opens, at Nationals, at Pan Americans, at a World Championship, etc., where there's barely any fans. You know, Taekwondo doesn't get that same recognition. And my favorite cup man told me before going in, Valerie, you and I are most accustomed to this than anybody else because we have fought high-level taekwondo, karate, whatever it may be, where there's barely any fans. This simulates that. And just like that, I went in. It was actually fun and no pressure. I could see my sister, Mo and Steve. It felt very personal. And I could perform under the lights. I know fans the same way. And I'm grateful for Bellator for making it so beautiful. Their production is the best of the best. Our next question from John Polai. Hi, Valerie. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on the stoppage there. Obviously, you dropped there, and I know you got on top of the ground to pound, but, you know, obviously the time kind of ran out there, and there's a little bit of confusion for a couple seconds as whether the round was over, the fight was over. I was just wondering your thoughts on, on what happened. I knew the fight was over because that girl's eyes were white, and there was no way that she would get up. I don't, haven't even seen the replay of the knockout. I wish I could see it. So I don't really know. I think it was an overhand or something. And I know it's the end of the round. I know I hit her ratchet. Like I do my first debut as many times as I could until the ref had no option then to stop it. And then Valerie, it's the last thing for me. Um, when I was watching this fight, it seemed to me like midway through that second round is where you kind of really turned it on there. You started to land a lot of really clean shots there. Did you kind of feel that out there, too, that midway through the second round, you were starting to get the better of her and you were and the finish was coming? My coaches told me, Valerie, everything you're hitting her with is hurting her. And she's a big girl, right? So I didn't think, I knew I could knock her out with my kicks, but with my hands, I don't know. I know I have hard knockout power punch, but no one believes me until today. So I saw her slowing down. I knew everything I was hitting her with was hurting. And she was coming forward like like a dog so I, I, in the last three seconds i go you know what? i'm just gonna throw her as hard as i can to see what happens like i did with colby that's the same thing i did with colby i just came forward with all my power and knocked her out like i just did our next question comes from kevin varghese hey valerie big fan congrats on the win uh listen you silenced a lot of doubters uh this time uh -huh. with your statement victory uh, I'm, I can't say I'm really happy that you did because, you know, uh, a lot of these people just talk from just, you know, uh, nonsense. How do you feel right now? You know, you're a rising contender. 
how what part of your game do you think you need to improve on so that you can say hey i'm improving on this aspect of my game and i think i'm ready for you know to be a number one contender or even to be champion um i think that i proved a lot of people wrong but who i proved the most to what the caliber of athlete i am is to myself i needed this win for myself and for my confidence because it's been a year and four six months i haven't fought in the cage so this win was for myself but i feel like i'm an amazing boxer i'm an amazing kicker i could be an amazing muay thai i'm an amazing wrestler because i train with all the wrestlers in miami the only place i think i need a little work is my jiu jitsu because it's a lot of technique and and I'm very hard headed so I just want to throw hard and I get caught sometimes but jiu jitsu is where I need the most improvement but I think I at Bellator's pace and my manager's pace for some management um I'll make the right decision I would and I'm going to do every single movie and music video I'm going to be an artist I'm going to go into music I'm going to go into film my dad was an actor and I want to be a commentator for Bellator one day Jeff, my last question is for you. What is your why? Like why do you fight? I fight because I had a very different upbringing and I've always had something within myself telling me that Valerie you're meant to be a star, stay focused. I didn't have the same elementary experience, high school experience. I was homeschooled for the Olympics. I've always had a bigger dream for myself and a plan and a vision. And I know God gave me that talent to not get distracted. So I know I was meant to be someone in this world. I know I was meant to be worldwide and I know I meant to be an example to other young girls that you could be beautiful, you could be elegant, you could be girly girl, you could have your nails done and your eyelashes done and still knock out girls like I just did. It was a beautiful performance with kids. Wait to see you again. Thank you. All right, thank you very much yes. Valerie. Bye. Congratulations.